Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I'm just walking home from the gym here, and I was thinking about something today when I was lifting. By the way, if you'd like me to do a, a video of one of my workouts, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll try to get that camera in there and set up a tripod and record myself doing my workout and kind of explain it for you. But anyway, what I was thinking about was uh, I was listening to an audio program by Earl Nightingale. I think I talked about this in my last video. And as I was listening to it, I, I sent myself a bunch of emails about videos to make, but uh, a lot of it was familiar, right? And it made me think about uh, a comment on a blog post that I did about all the books that I read uh, this year, or last year, 2015. You can see that blog post here. Anyway, uh, in that video, or in that comment, it talked about how all the books that I read were very similar, and a lot of them seemed to be self-help, personal development type of books, and did I really enjoy reading those books, and it seems like maybe I should relax and try and read something a little more enjoyable. Plus, of course, I like those books. And so I thought about that a little bit, and why do I do, why do I listen to those audio programs or read those same type of books? And the reasoning really has to do with uh, <coughs> what I want to become. So here's the thing, have you ever like read a book and then you uh, listened to the concepts in the book and you thought, oh, that's, that's really good, I should apply that, but then you don't apply that to your life. Right, so you might agree with it. In fact, you might talk to someone and they might give you advice and they might be able to solve your problem perfectly, right? And you totally agree with that advice. Heck, maybe you've watched a video that I've done and you've said, yeah, John, that makes a lot of sense. But did you do it? Here's the thing. A lot of times we come across these good ideas and concepts and we, a lot of times we know what we need to do, right? If you're overweight, you know what you need to do. You need to eat more healthy. You need to start working out, right? Uh, cut your calories. But you don't do it, why? Well, here's the thing. If you're not constantly surrounded by the idea or that environment, things are not going to change and you're not going to uh, make a change. You're not gonna do anything about it. Uh, the sure way to make yourself become what you wanna become is to surround yourself daily with that type of thinking, with that understanding, reinforcing it over and over again until it becomes the way that you think and that becomes the way that you act. Now, uh, I, did a, I did a video about, uh, basically talking about you know, the, how to set your, your set point, put that right here, and I talked about how the people you are, are around influence you. And that's totally true, I'll do a video, a lot of you ask how can I get people, or better people around me or the kind of people that will lift me up and get me to where I want to be and change my set point. I'll do a video on that, but I want to give you the other alternative now, which is even if you can't do that, you can always read, watch videos, listen to audio programs about the kind of thing that you want to become and the topics that you want to keep on your mind. In fact, that's the only way really to create lasting change that I know of to actually change. So I'm constantly reinforcing myself by going over the same concepts, <laughs> listening to similar books, especially being hearing about it in a slightly different way or different manner. That makes a big difference as well. So I'm constantly doing that. I'll constantly keep doing that because I want to keep those things in my life. I want my life to, uh, to be about those topics. I want to have the self-development. I want to be able to set my goals. I want to be able to achieve and believe that I can achieve what I want. So that's why I'll keep doing that. And I suggest that you do it too. You know, the same thing applies for, for whatever it might not be. I mean, heck, my, a lot of my job now is to help other people to become better versions of themselves, right? So that's why I surround myself with that kind of material. But maybe what you're trying to do is something different. Maybe what you're trying to do is uh, is become a real estate investor. <laughs> so maybe you need to start reading a bunch of books on real estate or stock market. Maybe you're trying to improve your software development skills. 
So maybe then you need to read a lot of books on that subject and you need to keep that around you. Whatever it is, uh, you, you know, you just have to keep on reinforcing it. So anyway, I thought I would drop that on you for, the, for those of you that have been wondering why often I you know, go over the same material multiple times, why I even talk about the same stuff multiple times. Uh, it's because I want to be surrounded by it and, and that's how you actually make a change. If you see people that, there's very few people that actually make changes in their lives, I'll tell you that uh, right now and, and you know this is true. But if you see any of those people that have actually managed to make positive changes in their lives, still planes, you'll notice that uh, they are the people that constantly surround themselves with the thoughts, the ideas that they want to incorporate into their being. And eventually it will happen, I promise you. So it, it, it has to happen if you're willing to do that. Most people are not willing to do that. That's why they're not able to or willing to change even though they want to. They hear a concept, they read a book, they think that's a great idea, but they don't wake up every single morning and try to achieve it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time, take care.